Ingenious ideas are born not only in Skolkovo, but far from it as well. A Stavropol scientist made water burn. His innovation roused the interest of Russian energy scientists. Svetlana Nabiva found out that energy really can cost next to nothing. This looks like a construction site or a warehouse, all in all a backyard, and something that looks like a steam loco with a jet engine. The invention of Gamlet Arakilan, doctor of engineering science, sparked the attention of scientists from Moscow and Kazakhstan. When we've started the unit and the chemical reaction has begun, the temperature jumps rapidly up to 1100-1200 degrees Celsius. Into one tank they pour tap water, into another used oil, a substance that is generally regarded as waste. It's disposed of somewhere, recycled somewhere perhaps, but mostly it's just dumped somewhere, polluting the environment. Petroleum engineering specialists from Tatarstan take measurements with a dosimeter, magnetometer and gasolizer and record the whole process process on the video. It's important for us to understand what's going on inside this equipment. Gamlet Arakilan starts his hydrogen unit. A boiler made of improvised materials can barely hold the energy pressure. This equipment demonstrates a significant energy production effect. The idea is to make a water molecule produce heat. Just imagine, add one liter of hydrocarbons to five liters of water and make it produce energy. It's impossible. But it burns, and it burns hot. The key thing is to create the right conditions. Then, when water reacts with hydrocarbon, hydrogen is produced. Quite a fashion hit in the power engineering these days. Of course, the spirit of the times has nothing to do with the reason we are interested in this invention. The numbers do. A person who is directly involved in the operations announced the tenfold fuel cut. This number is very serious. True, to heat up a boiler like this, 65 liters of diesel fuel is required. For this experiment, they burned 50 liters of water and 10 liters of used engine oil. This steam, coming out of the red-hot boiler, would be quite useful for the petroleum industry, for the production of high viscosity oil. Today, it is produced with the natural gas being burned, which costs quite a lot. The field specialists need the economic efficiency, the theory scientists need to unscramble the technology. We signed a letter of intent, and the first step was our visit to this site. We wanted to see it with our own eyes, what a sci-fi contraption it is. Meanwhile, foreign specialists are also interested in the creation of our scientists. Italians noticed the invention at the Sochi Economic Forum. The Italian ambassador came up to us, he is a physicist by his initial qualification. We started telling him about our invention here. He said, no need to explain it to me, I understand it all, write down your commercial offer. But we are patriots and didn't write one. We decided to keep it in Russia so far. So that's what it's like, the wonder engine that is able to carry the whole Russia and the whole world way into the future, without as much as a stopover. Vestis Stavropol territory.
A scientist from Stavropol seems to have overtaken the leading minds of the planet. Gamlet Arakelian, an esteemed inventor of Russia, registered an invention other scientists in the world only dream of. Gas, petrol, nuclear power may soon become unnecessary. A man with expertise can make the water burn. The inventor states that water, mixed with a small amount of hydrocarbons in a special way, will burn and, which is more, produce a large volume of heat. It's hard to believe because the hydrocarbon I have here doesn't burn on its own, to say nothing of the water. Water is poured in the turbo generator. To prove the point, the inventor even drinks it. Used fuel goes into the other tank. It does not react to fire, it's just waste nobody normally needs. We now have 90% of water and 10% of dead hydrocarbons. Five minutes of fruitless hissing and steaming and the unit turns into a fire-breathing dragon. Hydrogen burns. We get the hydrogen using almost none of any energy materials. The startup stage lasts for about five minutes. After that, the process of hydrogen synthesis is uninterrupted. Traditionally, to receive hydrogen from the mixture of water and hydrocarbons, it should be heated to 900 degrees Celsius. It's very expensive, so nobody is actually interested in it. The inventor took a different path. He made the newly formed hydrogen work to produce more of its kind. We closed this circuit and received highly efficient, almost free energy. The inventor has been using this almost free energy in his company for almost two years. The turbine generators heat the premises, steam concrete panels and blocks. 100% saving. We have the used engine oil that other companies give us free of charge as if for disposal. We calculated that previously we paid up to 40-50 thousand rubles to heat all our shops and facilities. Living premises can be heated this way too. It's the driving force for cars, spaceships and anything in the world, says the inventor. Reviews of Russian leading scientists prove that. The invention roused the interest of Japan and United Arab Emirates. The latter was more interested in the option of water purification with this equipment. The land of the rising sun is looking for an alternative for nuclear power. They budgeted over four billion dollars for the procurement of such innovations, scientific discoveries, and they are interested. However, we are not eager to sell it off because it's Russian, it's ours. Japan is interested, but no one in Russia is. The inventor is waiting for response and serious support. What we see now is the demonstration of an ingenious idea. For the hydrogen to work for man, this equipment requires automatics and protection. First, we need state support. We need to involve scientists with expertise in electronics, automation, control. Big plants can be involved in the production of this equipment. We now think dozens of powerful plants in the Stavropol territory in North Caucasus can be involved. The scientist has said his word. Now it's for the officials to act. However, they are too busy for this, as they always are. Vesti, North Caucasus, Stavropol territory.